girl bad guy like died. The girl bad guy? I don't know what her name was. All right, we just saw Smile Two, two and Terrifier 3 at the drive-in. Still ending right now, so that's Andy, everybody. So, so what did you guys think? Of which one? Should we just talk about this one since it just ended? Um, Terrifier 2 was very Three. random at the end. Kind of shocked. Three. Yeah, three, whatever the fuck. They both suck. What'd you think, Yaya? It was okay. I feel like none of the other movies really caught my attention. Um, I was just here for the ride. It was all right. <laughs> Smile was better. Yeah, ter know. Terrifier 3, like, I fell asleep towards the end. It was, like, ridiculous. <sighs> it is what it is. If you like any of them, then you'll probably like this, but it was... Extremely random towards the end. Uh, the only thing that got me excited that Tom Savini was in this fucking movie. He did a, a cameo, and Tom Savini is a special effects makeup legend. Um, definitely gory. You're going to get a lot of gore. You're going to get a lot of gashes. Uh, I feel like they did a tribute to part one, though, by cutting that guy down the middle. Yeah, that was pretty Up cool. his ass and his balls. So if anybody was offended by the first one, with the girl that was cut down there, they did it to a guy. Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, let me see. I don't know. I can't. Uh, we missed it. I don't know. Maybe Tom Savini School School of Douglas out here in PA did the makeup. That's why he was probably in it. That could be it. So now I gotta look it up. It I'll probably look it up. For me. For you, six out of ten. Yeah. Um, Damn. I go four out of ten. That wasn't that good. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll fucking just say five. Then yeah, it's it's it was whatever. But let's talk about smile. Smile, smile too. Good. I like uh, smile. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I only because I missed the beginning. I, I wish I seen the beginning. Smile was pretty good. I felt like the budget was bigger. I love the ending. I thought the ending was pretty fucking yeah, the cool. Was the special effects was cool. This is visual effects, mellow pictures. Um, definitely was gory too as yeah, well. Yeah, I thought it was pretty gory. I thought it was more gory than Terrifier, honestly. I felt like... I didn't feel sympathy in part one. You feel sympathy for the girl because she's like donating her time and she's a doctor. And this one is like, it's a rich pop star. Kind of don't feel bad for her. I, I kind of didn't feel bad for her. Like, yeah. At all. Like, you yeah. treat your mom and everybody else like shit because you're spoiled and you can afford to do cocaine and all that shit. But uh, it was kind of cool. Like, I, I thought like those mobs of smiling people was pretty creepy. Yeah, I was just saying. That. And the acting was pretty, uh, you know. It's acting for these type of movies. I think they were both equally good. Smile one and Smile two. Yeah, I I I think I prefer Smile one more, but this it was pretty good. I would definitely say if you like Smile, you should definitely see it. And I loved how it picked up exactly where the last one ended with the cop. So it started off with the cop, and he, I mean, if you're yeah. watching both Terrifier and then, um, Smile at the same time, it really makes Smile look a lot better. True. Because Terrifier fucking suck. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I will see Smile 2. Skip Tire Fire or just wait for some bootleg shit unless you're really into gore and pointless endings. Uh, but yeah, we're here at Becky's Drive In, aka it used to be a porno drive in theater with the grandchild, his first drive in experience.